Okay, so the woman's world. I only have one page of notes. That's probably a good thing. Uh, it says uh, on the front cover, let's cover it. What a deal. Insider secrets that score your tech upgrades for free. Uh, Michael Burris, the PhD, the plush hug that instantly turns off worry. Swiss scientists share the surprising daydream that delivers 81% deeper sleep. Dr. Juice Miracle, Dr. Terry Dubra reveals the powder drink that sends metabolism soaring, burns 400% more fat. You can lose 15 pounds in a week. This lady here says she lost 60 pounds without even thinking about it. Cindy Moore, 64, who also got off 13 meds and no longer needs to cane with a walk. And it says something underneath that mail label, but I don't know. Ian the Gardener has comfort food, uh, natural anti-aging hair grows younger, the study that uh, the money saving twerk that outsmarts gout flares. Okay, now that's the cover. Now let's open up the book and continue from there. On the page four and five, um, we know that from November 6th to November 12th, it is National Animal Shelter Appreciation Week. Spread the love. We also know that on November 8th, it's National Ample Time Day. Outsmart stress. They don't say it, but I'm going to vote, vote, vote. And Thursday, November 10th, where are you at? National Forget-Me-Not Day. Share a moment, uh, especially reaching out to connect with old friends. Friday, November 11th. They don't say it, but I'm going to. Veterans Day. National Sunday Day is that day as well. Uh, we're going to do the riddle. In the shadows, the more there is of me, the less you will see. What am I? Now think on that. We'll come back to it. Start your week with a laugh. You always said that you can't believe everything you read. That's why I watch so much TV. The joke, what did the traffic light say to the car? Hey, don't look, I'm about to change. And this man is going to the customer service desk to obviously return something because it says refunds. I got everything on my wife's shopping list, just not the right size, shape, color, or brand. Now back to the riddle of the week. In the shadows, the more there is of me, the less you will see. What am I? The answer, the dark. Okay. Now on page 10 and 11. We've got to get to page 10 and 11. Okay, it's the power of love. It's our way of saying thank you to our veteran heroes. When Andrew Gornick visited a World War II veteran, he was saddened to find the elderly man sharing one small room with two other men, each with just enough space for a bed and a dresser. His wife shared his heartache, and together they are now helping our heroes live the lives they deserve. Sure, I'd love to come along, Andrew Gornick said, agreeing to accompany a friend to visit a World War II veteran in the fall of 2021. Though not a vet himself, Andrew had always held deep respect for those who have served. In fact, he and his wife, Sheila, taught their children to always thank a veteran they encountered. So Andrew was saddened when he found the elderly man sharing a bedroom and bathroom with two other men at a communal home that took his pension and Social Security and gave him just $50 a month. It's just not right, Andrew told Sheila when he got home. His, her heart was aching, she told her husband. Words of thanks aren't just enough anymore. We have to do something concrete to help those heroes. The Heartfelt Project. After praying on it, the Latrobe, Pennsylvania company couple decided they would provide good low-rent housing for the veterans. Having a construction business as homes, they had building know-how, but this would be a separate from their business and funded out of pocket. In December 2021, Andrew and Sheila bought two properties in western Pennsylvania. The first was a vacant five-acre plot of land on which they planned to build new veteran homes from the ground up. 
but soon after they found another property in Ligonier that had an existing cottage and house that just needed some re renovation. They bought this three acre property too and decided to focus their efforts on fixing the cottage, which would enable them to have a veteran move in within months rather than a year or more. And Sheila knew just who they would help, a Vietnam era veteran named Bob Liesco and his wife, Joni, whom she'd met when she worked as the manager of the townhouse community they lived in. Bob was 82 and served stateside from 1962 to 1966 in the Air Force, maintaining planes that were transported troops and materials to Vietnam. He now suffers from hand arthritis and has several knee surgeries. Joni had provided much of Bob's care until she suffered a few strokes and ended up needing help herself. What's going to happen to us, Bob worried. Then Sheila told them about the organization she and Andrew were starting. Don't worry, we're going to take care of you, she promised. Not only will they get the affordable place to live, Heroes Never Alone Incorporated would arrange the help and errands and other household tasks. Oh my God, my prayers are answered, Bob exclaimed. Home sweet home. In May, with renovations well underway, Heroes Never Alone Incorporated, heroesneveralone.org, became official, 501c3 nonprofit. Although the focus is housing, their mission is to elevate the equality of the life of the veterans, whatever that means for each individual. For instance, they uh, recently heard about a veteran who didn't have hot water for three weeks and brought him a new hot water tank. What, while Heroes Never Alone is focused on serving veterans, they also are open to helping active military families in need. In September, Bob and Joni moved into a renovated cottage, which is custom fitted with disability friendly features like a walk in jacuzzi tub. The closets are structured so that the couple doesn't have to overreach and include a bench where they are, can sit while dressing. Plans are now underway to turn the house on the property into a duplex and to build the three or four 800 square foot mini houses on the vacant land they purchased. All housing will fit ADA standard to meet the needs of the veterans and the disability. The couple will work with each veteran to set reduced rent that is affordable, but to hope one day to be able to offer free housing. We still say thank you, but this is our way of putting into action to take care of those who sacrifice so much for all of us, Andrew says. Adds Sheila, they risk their lives for our freedom. We think about the time spent away from their loved ones, the crying, the prayers. They're doing so much so we can be free. We just really feel like we had to do something to repay them. The story is by Kelly B. Gormley. Here's a picture of the Gormick standing, uh, started Heroes Alone while they bought renovated a cottage, cottage for Bet Bob Lasco and wife Joni. Look at this little boy. God bless America and all who defend it. It's a little lemonade stand. It says supporting includes the Gornicks, oh, sorry, daughter, helps fund projects. Every room was redone to be disability friendly. The Lesko Cottage before renovation. The couple moved in this past September. Three ways to support your veterans. The first step. Give the gift of time. Many veteran associations, associations rely on volunteers to do clerical work and organize office spaces. Visit volunteersuso.org and click register here to fill out an application to help at a local office. Prefer not to leave home, volunteer to pack or send care packages at operationgratitude.com. Grant a wish. Help make dreams come true for veteran families from Providing a fence for their backyard or a trip to Walt Disney World, simply visit hopeforthewarriors.org, click Programs and Services, Transition, and then Warriors Wish to make a family or warrior's wish come true. Write a letter. Join the soldiersangels.org to write thank you notes to service members, veterans, and families. Visit the website Get Support, click Family Support, then Cards Plus Team to register and become a team angel. You'll receive names, addresses to send letters and lift spirits. And those soldiers, angels, we're grateful for. Every birthday, they have really overdone it for Grandpa. And we're grateful for you guys. Okay. 
page 18. We're going to outsmart you. Outsmart your fall energy slump. More natural health news. Here's a tip. Sleep, sipping water infused with a pinch of Himalayan salt boosts energy in five minutes per Tufts Research University. Now, as fall gets into full swing, fewer daylight hours combined with a packed calendar leaves more than a third of us feeling sluggish. The great news, the proven tips that follow will help you sail through your autumn with ease. Hold on one minute. My phone's saying it needs charged. Lazy phone. There we go. Okay, prevent early morning grogginess. I'm not going to read all of this. We're just going to highlight it, and you're going to pick up the magazine to find out how. Block mid-morning energy slumps, nix midday fatigue, dodge after-dinner sleepiness, and beat that brain fog. Okay, page 26 is another great article. I mean, all these articles are great, but these are ones that spoke volumes to me. Help me stand up to bullies. Most of us have either been bullied ourselves or cared for someone who has. Here, our experts share smart ways to reclaim your confidence and stand up for your own needs. Honor yourself. Release the self-blame. And savor your success. Take action. Repeat these phrases. Lean on people you trust. Let yourself move on. And they have a panel of experts at the bottom. Be sure to check out that article. 38, page 38, I should say. Okay, easy keys to a beautiful fall yard. Ensure healthy grass by leaving the leaves. Preserve your perennials by skimping the fall trim. Prep your lawn easily with coffee grounds. Jumpstart your veggie gardens with an early compost. Enjoy annuals longer with a well-trimmed watering. And where are we going next? Again, I'm wetting your whistle to get this book so that you will feel just so uplifted. Look at this cute picture. Follow us for free worms. Don't bother. It's just clickbait. Ha ha. Okay. 49's got an instant awe. It says... Take a moment to leave your worries behind and lose yourself in the loveliness. Autumn spun in the twilight's hour, golden leaves glowing, her soul empowered. Angie Wellen Crosby. Beautiful picture there. Beautiful. Page 50, a moment for you. Shrinking... Shrinking stress is easier than you think. When the stress seems like the biggest thing in our lives, it's definitely time to cut it down to size. The secret? Reschedule it. That's right. Whatever's nagging at you, you have the power to stress about it later or never. Stress doesn't deserve your attention. Your happiness does. There's a cute little story about a five-minute romance. Better the second time. It's adorable. Check it out. Before I lose my voice, we're going to do the horoscope. That's a good one. Okay. Now, for the week of Sunday, November 6th to Saturday, November 12th, by Marissa Brown. Now, if you're a Scorpio, your birthday falls between October 23 and November 21st. On the 8th, switch up how you're showing up in a partnership, whether that's a, with a significant other, friend, or coworker. Change can feel liberating. And then on the 10th, share what is in your heart to bolster your bond. Your lucky days, November 11th, 10th, and 12th. Your lucky numbers, 1, 2, and 5. Aquarius, January 20th through February 18th. You'll be rethinking how you want to handle a project or professional goal come the 8th. Trust your gut. And on the 9th, you'll feel like working diligently on your own, which can translate to applause-worthy results. Your lucky days, November 6th, 10th, and 11th. Your lucky numbers, 1, 10, and 17. 
Taurus, your birthday falls between April 20th and May 20th. Stand up for your beliefs around the 7th. The moment may lead you to reflect on setting boundaries and relationships on the 11th. Collaborating with a group of friends on a project can prove satisfying. Your lucky days, November 9th, 10th, and 12th. Your lucky numbers, 1, 2, and 11. Sexy, sassy Leo, you know we got it going on because my birthday is August 3rd. And it says, if your birthday falls between July 23rd and August 22nd, you may be thinking about how to pursue dreams on the 8th. Self-reflection proves productive. Come the 11th, butting heads with a loved one may come as a sign. It's time to step away before you resume communication. Your lucky days, November 6th, 10th, and 11th. Your lucky numbers, 1, 9, 11. Sagittarius, your birthday falls between November 22nd and December 21st. Rethink your wellness routine on the 10th. Adding a mind and body class or a deep breathing practice can make a major difference in your vitality. On the 12th, share a vivid dream with a loved one. It could bring you closer. Your lucky days, November 6th, 10th, and 11th. Your lucky numbers, 4, 6, and 12. Pisces, your birthday falls between February 19th and March 20th. Around the 6th, you may feel restless. Getting out of your comfort zone brings relief. Then enjoying an eye-opening experience with a loved one could strengthen your relationship on the 7th, so go for it. Your lucky days, November 8th, 9th, and 12th. Your lucky numbers, 3, 9, and 18. Now, if you're a Gemini, your birthday falls between May 21st and June 20th. On the 8th, make changes that infuse everyday life with more balance you'll gain lovely peace of mind and on the 12th consider leaning on a trusted mentor or confidant to work through the details of a project your lucky days november 6 10th and 11th your lucky numbers 3 6 and 10 virgo your birthday falls between august 23rd and september 22nd you want to connect with friends on the 10th any kind of stimulating activity can have you feeling more centered and on the 12th, you'll have a sweet opportunity to prioritize one-on-one -on -one time with a dear friend. Your lucky days, November 8th, 9th, and 12th. Your lucky numbers, 3, 6, and 12. Capricorn, your birthday falls between December, 12th, <laughs> December 22nd and January 19th. Around the 11th, you may face a challenging project that you're tackling at work. Reframing this as an opportunity for growth serves you well. And on the 12th, downtime with friends brings you a surge of joy. Your lucky days, November 7th, 8th, and 9th. Your lucky numbers, 1, 8, and 11. Aries, March 21st through April 19th. Have the heart-to-heart -heart with a loved one on the 8th. What you share could lead to healing. And on the 10th, you'll find your dreams more meaningful. Writing down what you remember can lead to growth. Your lucky days, November 6th, 10th, and 11th. Your lucky numbers, 8, 12, and 17. If you're a Cancer, your birthday falls June 21st through July 22nd. You could enjoy a surge of energy around the 6th, diving into a creative undertaking benefits your heart, and on the 9th, letting go of the concrete plan with loved ones can lay the groundwork for spontaneous fun. Your lucky days are November 8th, 9th, and 10th. Your lucky numbers, 2, 5, and 9. Last, Libra, if your birthday falls between September 23 and October 22nd, around the 7th, share what's in your heart with a loved one. Then you'll be inspired to talk through a money-making project with someone you trust deeply on the 10th. What you come up with together can set up you up for success. Your lucky days, November 6th, 10th, and 11th. Your lucky numbers, 8, 9, and 17. Okay, we've got a You Deserve Good Things. You are so much richer than you realize. Sure, a windfall would be wonderful, and so would winning the lottery. But the best things in life are still free, and every day brings an abundance of gifts and bounty of blessings. Reasons to smile, possibilities to explore, love to share, and so much more. There's a great story here about an everyday hero who's a World War II veteran as well, and he's 100 years old, and he brings so much joy and happiness to these children and he writes these books for them and it's just a wonderful little story be sure to check that out okay let's see here it's the landlord it says of the shoe get it lady in the shoe we color the world not with the darkness of our past but the rainbow of our hope 
and that's Jinnum Da Baby. Okay, this little cartoon here, we've got some kangaroos talking to a turtle. It's hard to meet someone when you're still living at home with your parents. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Well, that is all I have to share for you with Woman's World. November 7th, 2022, but be sure to pick this book up. You won't regret it. Great articles, and you've got to read them for yourself.